Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Rookie Balboa Run. My name is Saikin and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but rookies. Uh, time to punch above our weight class. It is time for the first like real test of fire. Operation Purple Empire uh, is going to be the first actual retaliation mission. I am assuming that we're going to run into the uh, Chosen here, the Assassin to be precise. And we got uh, a handful of uh, valiant rookies with us, Hunk, Sonar, Battlox and Divad will be going in. Uh, the red weapons were the ones that have been modified with at least one modification. We got an improved laser here and I think a hair trigger and uh, the stock version. Uh, and so the DLC weapon with uh, the scope on it. All three should be reasonably helpful in getting this mission done. Our biggest problem, to be entirely honest, will be the assassin. So. Since she can one-shot us, one of the determinants uh, whether or not we're going to be successful is if she's going to get a jump on us and kills us before we can retaliate. So this will really be a tough one and I'll give my best to go through it. If uh, it's going to be too hard, we're going to extract and just leave it be for now. All right, we landed. Let's give it a good look. So it's one of the classical missions where we got to save 13 civilians. We got the high ground, which is great, but we had a very, very long map. So there are a couple of problems with those long and drawn out maps. One of which is since we have no concealment, don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're uh, triggering an enemy pack. We're using a scouting technique where the first XCOM operative just double moves. Okay. And then let's put the others in a position to tail them. Yeah, I don't want to move from here. Let's just overwatch. Okay, so what does the assassin have? Oh, it's the hunter for once. That might have increased our chances in this run because the assassin is a brutal first one. So can enter overwatch. Does not trigger overwatch. Brittle is a fantastic trait. That's three um, hits will... Oh no, that that uh, that is not really uh, close range attacks. Yeah, um, I was messing it up with uh, the one where uh, close at um, three consecutive attacks would uh, give you damage bonus. Here we just need to get close. That is doable, and the adversary uh, reaper trait is irrelevant for us because we only have uh, rookies, anyways. So. As long as we stay out of range and pull one pack at a time, we should be fine. This here is important information because it tells us where the closest pack is at, which would be right here. Divat looks, does not find anyone. This here is a safe move because we know the closest pack is right there. And that also gives us some more indication of what we can and cannot do. This is me knowing how pot placements work on the map. And we want to engage with the pack as soon as possible, of course, right? Okay, so that does not trigger. Position confirmed. Heading out. Move, move, move. Okay, we got three overwatches, and if we play our cards right, they might even run into us. 
Okay, we played our cards right. They ran into us. Oh, he was hitting the canister, but he couldn't uh, make it explode. Well, we stopped that round of killing, which is great, but we're potentially going to get a tracking shot, right? Yeah. Not far enough. I'm watching you. Venice one five, the chosen hunter is targeting your position from long range. Good. You need to we're moving out, out of reach. Nice little hit. Nice little hit. How about uh, Betty Locks moves in? And just to make that a clean round, I don't want any more trouble. We're just going with cover removal into moving up. 90% shots. It would not be a hundred percent kill, but well, it's uh, three hit points. Yeah, he would have an almost 100% chance. Uh, sending in the open is not a good idea, but uh, given that we have uh, the scope on it, that actually was a 100% kill. Good. We have seen uh, as the camera was turning kind of 45 degrees we saw that there were a lot of civilians over here if we could manage to get a bit closer that would give us a huge advantage Let's move. Let's carefully move with all of our operatives. There's no really great play that um, I could do. It's a transition uh, turn where we're reloading whenever possible. And let's hope we're not getting jumped. Okay, he's not killing, which is great because it means we have all the time in the world. I'll give you a sporting chance. Let's pick up the loot. Larim pour fantastic loot. I like it. And back into cover. Moving on target location. Divert, sonar, and hunk. Triple Overwatch. Loki hoping that he would grapple into us and trigger the Overwatch. Uh, that just didn't happen. However, he's not too far away. I don't want to go in further. So we're going to stay exactly here. He might he might move in. Currently none of the civilians are dying, which is great. Let's use the time to reload. Get a nice little full overwatch. We're carefully advancing. Still nothing. So far, so good. 
keeping two in high ground just in case and he finally uh, shows his ugly face okay that'll trigger a couple oh no he could ev um, evade overwood shots i almost forgot Well, lucky us, he summons and uses his uh, once permission cooldown on it. And that should be a kill. Oh boy. Rookie aim. Just the best there is. Okay, he botched that grenade quite, quite, uh, quite well. Because we can immediately revive and don't even need to move. Okay, we definitely can and should remove cover. There we go. Overwatch gone. Let's move far enough away. I don't want to catch another pack or something. Nice. Brittle trigger uh, triggers immediately. Seven points of damage. We're going to see whether or not we can do that again. Another great hit. I can't let that slide. Can we somewhat get a bit closer? Is the grenade also going to have the brittle bonus? It potentially should, right? I'll try my my best to hit him with a grenade. It's a bit of a weird play, but I hope that that is going to trigger Brittle. It's not. Okay, learn something. But we wouldn't have been able to kill him unless it was yet another crit and there was a only 10% chance of that to happen. Potentially going to lose the soldier now. That's the bleeding out part. I'm on the move. All right. Unfortunately, the soldier that he shot down was the one carrying another grenade, so we only we're down to one grenade, and the guy who has the grenade... The guy who has the grenade, equally so, is also the one uh, that has uh, the scope on their weapon, sonar, so it's either winning the mission... It's either winning the mission now. Can we do it with? Can we do it with uh, less soldiers? Is the question. That's going to be a hard sell. I don't know what we're dealing with there. Must be at least one more pack. Elsewise, elsewise, uh, the. Paces ones would have already shown. 
very likely that one of you guys is a traitor. If we... Or this guy here. I don't know. It's just statistically likely that we're running into a pace, this one. I think we're best off to try to get to the last pack. Are we leaving Max here without stabilizing him? Uh, bad, bad, but he looks, I mean. Hmm. Hate to see someone die on a purely on a purely in-game perspective. Eh, it's a rookie, right? So it, there's uh, no harsh feeling. I'm not sure if I can finish the mission with uh, two. There might be another more difficult pack. Moving to position. So I think as much as it pains me, the fate might be sealed unless we find, we find the last pack really uh, swiftly, like this turn, be able to overpower them. Uh -huh. Nah, can't do it. Uh, decision has been made, but the log dies, and we're moving on. Go on, head to the ship. Affirmative, moving out. Locked and loaded. Can't do it with two rookies. That's. Uh, too little. We can't even get the uh, paces ones down. Heading there now. So we're secure. carrying the Illyrium core. Ebert moves up. Look at that! As if I would have known it. But why is he uh, changing shape now? We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. Well, lucky us. I was, uh, mm, I was contemplating whether or not I could rescue six civilians. Don't even think about it. I'm ready. Time to take that thing down. On my way. All right, moving up. No longer a threat. And that's one down. Good. We're reloading and let's overwatch for now. So far, nothing is being killed, which is awesome because it allows us to carefully reload. We've already lost a rookie. There seems to be another pack somewhere here. Just from the way that the sound indicator has shown, they might be just right behind that truck and now just right behind that truck or behind this kind of rv here let's just give them one one or two more turns we would gain a huge benefit from jumping them with an overwood trap Come on. on the game does not want to throw me a bone. No. 
Okay, well. In that case. Moving to designated coordinates. In that case, we're carefully starting to move forward. The only rookie with a grenade, of course, takes the point position, so sonar. It's going to go in. Moving out. It would seem Adjet has begun deploying their so-called priests into combat. Their implants provide well, significant shocker, right? Absolute shocker that uh, there would be a group of enemies behind there. The game sometimes is just too obvious when it comes to these things. Yeah, 40% is not good enough. They got... full cover. 50-50 on the other hand, I would take. Nope. That's a miss. That one is a good one. Is a good shot. Unfortunately, down to one hit point doesn't mean they are killed. Um, can't hit both with them. I think we're going to save the grenade for next turn. And if I'm now overwatching, the biggest problem that I'm seeing is the potential mind control, which would get them an overwatch as well because if you mind control a uh, soldier who's currently overwatching you end up taking over that uh, that overwatch okay stasis isn't great but it's also not the end of the world Yeah, I wish we had a bit more a bit more grenades. That would be the right thing right now. Uh, we potentially have a hair trigger, so maybe the, these are two shots. Reloading because we're in full cover high ground. There is not going to be a better chance. 50-50. Uh, the real weapon attachment that we should have gotten is a stock. The way that the rookies are hitting, or rather not hitting, that would have made all the difference. Got a problem over there. Let me go into Overwatch because uh, the regeneration starts at the beginning of the Faceless One's turn. We're not inside of uh, the Priest. That could have triggered Overwatch. I'm under fire. Now that's the problem with these guys. Ultra fast. Good, we... Definitely can't run away now. So this here is a do or die situation, meaning this guy here definitely needs to die. Okay, we could move up. The reason why I'm freeing up this position is there is a realistic chance that we're dealing minimum damage and then i need a grenade and the grenade can't be thrown without hitting our own guys come on okay well in that case uh, it worked out much better than i would have expected moving into the best potential cover and the 100 percent kill
Okay, one priest. One priest to rule them all. Gotta be a bit cheerful where and how we're positioning ourselves here. We know there are no more faces okay. once we killed all of them. Closing on target position now. The priest is a force to be reckoned with. That's really not going to cut it. However, this thing here is, has started to burn. It always gives me a shiver, because if uh, the truck explodes, that's a lot of damage. It's not a flashy move, but that's full cover. And sometimes 40% are better than nothing. Sometimes they are exactly nothing, like you've just seen it. Okay, stasis is not a problem. Mind control would be one. potential flanking position. That's affirmative. This is unfortunately not a cover position. Back online. All right, yourself. Overwatch. There we go, that worked well. Interestingly enough, the guy just ran into the absolute open to get shed on. And the one thing that you can count on is the good old perceived 100% chance of getting the sustenance sphere. Good. Lots of overwatches. Let's hope he moves. <laughs> Get it together. Uh. That was close. All right. I think it's fair that Sonar Confirmed. gets to do the good deed. A satisfying kill. Good Men is one five. And Status with that, confirmed. we had a pretty bloody first clear. defense. But we got us some ability points. We sent the chosen back to their masters with a few scars to show. And we taught the chosen who's boss. So success, which means larger income. We got five ability points, and we only lost one rookie. Plus, not to forget, we have gotten ourselves an Elarium Core. Body locks, rest in peace. Uh, give the good man a couple of uh, rips in the comment section. He gave his life uh, to kill the Chosen. Nine rescued civilians were very good for uh, such a mission. Elarium Core and a lot of corpses. Look at that, plus 27 supplies. Oh, that's great. 
Oh, that's just really good. And with that, our first month will soon come to an end. There is more loot, which could be helpful. The resistance is helping to track the chosen we just met in combat. It sounds like that thing is already staking out territory nearby. We're not too bad off with him as uh, the first one. Let's continue the increased regional income. Assorted loot can be anything, really. So that could be a PCS, or which we couldn't use, or some weapon modification, which again we couldn't use. So I'm not 100% sure if I would want to go for it. It's a pretty high chance that it wouldn't work out. Got ourselves 177 income and a really good first month. What are we seeing? Reduction of income. Uh, that would be that would be rough. Commander, we have intel suggesting the aliens are working on developments that threaten our ability to stop the Avatar project. Good. So we can either get more movement when concealed or an advantage on the strategic layer. All resource rewards scanned from rumors are doubled. Our capabilities will grow in kind. Things are going so well. Sounds like my reapers can take on some rewards. I think we're going for lightning strike because one of our problems that I'm foreseeing with the with the rookie squad is we will have problems with the timer. Oh, look at that. Dodge plus six. That's already good. The vector rifle, eh. Don't need it. Can't do that. No, I think we're going to recruit the scientists. This is a great reward. And... Six dodge is fantastic. So, so who could be who could be like one of uh, the rookies that's actually that that's worthwhile investing in? I think we're going to pick Roby as an all-time classic, and he ca could be the tank, um, meaning kind of a frontliner. Divat can join him in this mission. It'll take a while, but that extra scientist will help us a lot. We need to focus on research at the beginning. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Commander, the resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed. Yeah, we're we're going to increase uh, this year first. And I think the idea, besides proving ground and laboratory, was to now go for a resistance ring. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. We don't have any capacity to spare, which means we can't expand our facility further. Good. This would take a bit too much to excavate, but we got another easy excavation here. So next up would be building a power relay. But yeah. This year, once it's done in 24 days, kind of to the end, to, towards the end of the month, we would be in a rock solid position. Laboratory, great, really great. Uh, proving ground, fantastic, and resistance ring also good. Question is, should we rush the laboratory a bit more? I would say yes. So this will reduce it down to 10 days. And that gives us more research days. Way more research days. Commander, you should establish contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. Very good. So permanent 27 uh, increase of supplies. We're going to get some more supplies right here. That could help us to get a med kit, for instance, which Shocker would have solve that whole bleeding out situation we have made a number of new discoveries and commander. that's the good old resistance communication finally during the course of our research oh, we made a that would be good that is fantastic 
That is actually one of the best things for this run to happen. Improved assault rifles, that's the only weapon category that we can use. That's a must have, like this is incredibly good. Gives us a damage bonus and sets us off right from the start. Okay, let's ignore that for now. We got enough intel. I think what we want to do is contact here to have the black side facility. It's not immediately needed, but I like making contact early because that also increases our monthly income and gives us at least two chances for a resistance or uh, for a covert ops mission. Speaking about which, we got another great mission. And supplies is not the best reward, but eh, okay. We can counter the more punishing dark event. And the recover the item from the resistance haven is actually something that we can do. Chosen cannot appear because they just appeared, which means this is going to be a reasonably easy mission. In terms of upgrading the soldiers, it won't be great by any stretch of the imagination, but we can give a couple of bonuses, such as dodge maybe hit points and if, uh, if possible uh, to hit, so aim bonus, every single month and kind of spread them across a few of uh, the rookies. That way I am hoping we're going to see a bit more survivability. I mean, six dodge in itself is great, but if you only have four hit points, eh, it's not that great. That improved assault rifles, though, is very, very good. We got enough supplies to afford that flashbang grenade, which I think we're going to take. Like, one of them is good. I don't think we need a medkit yet. We need cover removal and the nanoscale vest also no no for now later that can be helpful when we're getting armor upgrades for now we're pushing vital research uh, back to uh, back to a later stage in the campaign but improved assault rifles with that extra damage will make it a four to six weapon so that's the equivalent of a shotgun and would be halfway towards the magnetic weapons so if you slash magnetic weapons on top of it then you would have a really really good firepower it almost makes me wonder whether or not we want to uh, go for armor upgrade first because you get a lot of benefit out of a second slot now that we had that uh, breakthrough that'll be a good uh, good option and other than that, it uh, is going well. Uh, we do have a deep roster of rookies, which all want to take their step at this uh, at this uh, campaign. Unfortunately, I can't uh, take uh, inappropriate Murphy on the missions anymore, but he's going to be the mascot of this run, I decided. The others are looking fine. We still got enough uh, people going. There are three more rookies on the globe, uh, which I hope we can uh, we can also scan for. And in terms of next research, let's finish this and see if we can, uh, with the help of the laboratory, then sneak our way towards the um, more difficult project. So one thing that I will say though is. I'm going to empty this here again. Brings it to nine days. Breakthroughs cannot uh, happen faster. So um, if the laboratory is done, when that breakthrough is done, we're, we're just in time. Because then the real research happens. And that is a slight optimization because uh, that will allow us to clear that alien debris even faster. Meaning we can get more buildings done. Uh, we got Proving Ground, Resistance Ring. I mean, Training Center is still missing. And uh, certainly in, uh, the 
uh, the energy here needs to be upgraded as well. This here could be Psy Laboratory uh, directly on the core. Oh no, the core is here. Never mind. Just looked like a core. But yeah, that's the idea. Psy could be in either of these. But that's a long way out. For now, that's the end of today's episode. If you enjoy uh, the Rookie Blabo Balboa run, then uh, leave a comment down below. And uh, don't forget to like the video. Thank you, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, guys.